We got this. I believe in the Wi-Fi. Okay, are you ready to start this? Yes. Let's do it. Three, two, two. one, go. By the way, um, for each five dollars plus, um, will be uh, Netra. By the way, will like read to you a cool well fact, uh, which by the way they they're very um, they're very worth it. I worked a lot on on them, so but they are still also limited limited amount. So <laughs> we'll tell you also when we run out. Well, we actually have our first donation already. This is Karen, by the way. I'm going to be reading them so Risa can have a break. Um, Kat donated $10 for Billy the Whale. So shout out to Billy the Whale. Wait, who, who donated for me? I love you. Also, praise Tino. Oh, I guess Tino. I guess Billy is in the Tino gang. All right, so first whale fact is, if you are operating any type of watercraft, please reduce your speed to 7kn at the first sight of any whale, and stay parallel and don't stop in their path. Uh, would have been good to know that in that seamanship quiz. That looks right. That looks right. But like, he would, Mr. would rather have a male crab, typical male. All right. Yes, like I said, um, if you're expecting for a very uh, quick stream, like world record or something, don't. <laughs> yeah, Billy has a lot of op opinions, but I told him to keep it like to a minimum because we don't want to, we don't want to upset people today. Okay, we just got a huge donation from Shirley Ann, one hundred dollars. Shirley Ann says, "What a great idea and what a great time! I will have my cool whale fact now." Love from the Twitch Clue Crew. Thank you so much. That's incredible. Okay, thank you. First of all, thank you so so much. Uh, here's a good good whale fact for you. Um, there are different types of orcas around the world called ecotypes, and they differ in many aspects, such as the type of food they eat, social structure, languages, behaviors, home range, and even how they look. There are two types that frequently spend time in the Salish Sea around Victoria, transient and southern resident orcas. Which one do you think I am? A transient or a southern resident orca? If you don't know, I'll be hopping, I'll be hopping hints here and there, so pay attention. Okay, you need to get the whale facts ready because we have more. So Fisher donated $20, <laughs> just says whales rule. Absolutely true. So we're going to need another whale fact for Fisher. Thank you very much, Fisher. Um, your next, your whale fact is, even if these two types of whales that I mentioned earlier can be seen in close proximity, they will never engage in social interactions with each other. In fact, orcas are the only known species to have segregated populations due to social and cultural differences. We're getting very educated right now. Okay, so I have one more from Carol who donated $5 and also just said, whales rule. <laughs> it's true, they rule. Already. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Your next real fact is Southern resident orcas feed on fish and a little bit of squid. 80% of their diet is just Chinook salmon. They love Chinook. Transient orcas, however, are mammal hunters. They can eat sea lions, dolphins, seals, and even other whales. Mm, I love Chinook salmon. Um. What is fav everyone's favorite whale? Um, as much as I love you, Billy, and I love orcas, well, I love them all, like, pretty much, like, they are pretty much S-tier for me. 
Uh, my favorite would have to be um, the humpback whale. Um, maybe the reason is because they te they are they jump when they jump out of the water. It's very nice to watch, and also their their singing under the water is pretty amazing. When I was younger, I uh, considered like joining um, jo joining a group uh, of um, of um, volunteers to go to the Polynesian Islands. Um, so I would be, uh, with like a group of scientists. So I would be able to to dive with with whales, but it never happened because life. <laughs> Oh, humpback too, Yandema. That's cool. Beluga also is a very, very valid. Love some beluga. Beluga and narwhal. Okay, we've got one more whale fact needed for Lissa, who sent six dollars and just sends a heart. Thank you so much, Lissa. Thank you so oh, much. Lisa. Um, okay, here's your whale fact. When you are born into a resident pod, you will remain with your mother and extended family for the rest of your life, whether you are male or female. As for transient workers, since they are hunters, they can't travel in huge groups, so they try to keep it to small groups of just the mother and her offspring. If the group gets too big, then the adult daughters and their offspring may form their own group. Oh yeah, I will stay with this mama forever. Yeah, they are they are the next level, uh, next level baby's mama, mama's boy. Um, does that mean they flush the royals down the toilet? Or if I don't look at the chat very often, I'm concentrating. Okay, seamanship was. Quest. Quest. Right. One, three, four, three. Perfect. Three. Yes. Hold for hold. Correct. Am I smarter or what? Very good. Perfect. That should do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not implying anything, by the way. Wink. By the way, the while I was doing some research, uh, I saw some articles about about Caddy. It's pretty interesting. Um, what was the water? Oh. This is so nerve wracking when people are watching. Just wanna. All right. What do you think you're doing? Those signs over there say no trespassing, which means keep out, which means you, girly. Girly? Leave. But I just. Now. Damn, don't have to be so mean. <laughs> Sir, that's being rude. Right, Billy? Oh, yes! He doesn't like us! He's an enemy. You again? I'm sorry for trespassing like that. 
Well, what do you want? Finish that squeeze. Let's have a look. Right as read. Just bring me that male crab and you'll be home free. I got a male crab, I think. Let's have a look. Right as read. Congratulations. Here's your genius. Yes, for some reason, he wants all these informations, but he doesn't teach us about what to do when when we spot a whale while kayaking. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> we just brought him dinner. dinner. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Navigating is by far the the hardest. I'm not a I'm not a really good clicker. What did I just hear a seal? I also have a, a seal plushie. But I didn't think it would be appropriate to have him on stream too, alongside an orca. <laughs> okay, again, we're let's get ready for the GPS. Eight forty-two five one seven. Yeah. And then the next one is six one five. All right. All right. Oh, is that a nudist bitch, Beach? Beach, a uh, nudist beach, yeah. Oh, there's nobody. Dang it. <laughs> something, something. Oh, hi! Welcome to the stream! Oh, okay. Uh, HS? AJ? Okay, Nancy. I mean, please, Nancy, shut up. <laughs> Four. I'm getting there. When she's saying something or humming, I cannot type anything. And it's annoying. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, congratulations, Lisa, about, uh, about, um, school. Yes, shout out to our, our good friend, Lisa, who got into, um, grad school today. Everybody give a shout out to Lisa. Oh, uh, now let's talk to Je Jenna. What can I get for you, Nancy? For starters, you could tell me your name, Jenna Devlin. Sorry, my aunt didn't warn me when she left me this place that I'd be inheriting her knack for eavesdropping, too. How long ago was that? Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. It's been in the Devlin family since the day it was built, which was back in, like, 1866. By the way, I wore this, like, tropical, um, clothing, you know, because we kind of need this. should be rejoined with her pod as soon as possible. Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy science degree says, other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring what but not me. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise It's true though. Um the longer you wait for um to rejoin an orc a lost orca with its spot the harder it will be to reintegrate it there's like only one um one orca one baby orca um that has that we know of that managed to rejoin their pod after human intervention 
is my home's across town and I'm real low on clams, which means I've got to go free free fact for you doing anything else why don't I go planning for you okay if you get the clams I'll go get the necklace you can put them in here 15 ought to do it oh yeah the limit anyway but you also need a permit Okay, we have another donation from Janelle and Gibby. They donated ten dollars. They say Jenna Dublin supremacy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Janelle and Gibby. We love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, here's your well fact: there are three southern resident pods in the Vancouver Island area. The J pod, which has twenty-four members. The K pod, which has 17 members, and the L pod, which has 33 members. Fun fact um, the K pod, they are into K pop. Fake fact. <laughs> I made that up, sorry. Okay. Done with that chest problem yet? Yeah. Never would tell me why she wrote one bum on it like that. Of course, this was after her husband died. I guess her mind was starting to go. Thanks for letting me see it. Um. See you around. Yeah, whatever. Yes. Balkanian Jenna. Some. Um, some enemies to lovers just end up going back to enemies. It's just reality, you know. All right. It's... Da, 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 da. Looks like I need a key card to play. Oh, is that? Was that supposed to be um, one of us? Interesting. Hi there. Welcome. What can I do you for? Thanks for your time. Drop by again. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Like to play the games in your center, but no, no, I don't know why I have to look at the key card machine for him to give us something like a, a, a like a game card. That's that's lazy. It's one of those weird, like Nancy has to know about a thing before she can talk about a thing. Oh, yeah, but like in this one, I'm like, this is not warranted. He runs this business. Like he should be telling this like right away as someone enters, you know? Um... Okay, okay, I've got. Two. Oh, go ahead if you're gonna say something. But I have two more donations. Oh, uh, no, go ahead. Okay, so first up we have Fisher. It might be a different Fisher, but maybe it's the same one. Donated another five dollars, and Fisher says, "Is Billy a transient orca?" Well, Fisher, you have to stick Fisher. around to find out. Fisher. Um. <laughs> But here's a whale fact for you. This is a, um, it's a pretty interesting whale fact. It, um, homosexual interactions are integral and important part, and an important part of male orca social life. During the summer and fall, when resident pods join together to feast on salmon runs, males would often come together to roll around with each other at the surface, splashing and making frequent body contact as they rub, chase, and gently nudge one another followed by acrobatic displays like spy hopping and vocalizing in the air. Okay, I think that's probably my favorite fact so far. <laughs> You're um, welcome. We have another donation from Summer Earth. So Summer just did an incredible job running final seat for us. Um, and Summer donated $14 and they also say whales rule. Hi, Summer. Um, sh congrats on the fin run I was watching. It was really cool. Um, here's a real fact. The average lifespan for a male orca is 30 years and 50 years for a female orca. The oldest living orca is the matriarch of the J-pod called Granny. Can you guess how long oh. she lived? Yeah, le leave, leave some time so people can like guess an age. Um, 
but yeah, how long did you f do you think Granny lived for? I'm always nervous with this game, like. <laughs> All right, got some guesses rolling in. Recess is 69, 70, uh, That's 420. A good it, it was probably not 420. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Would have been neat, though. Would have been neat. All right, we're, we're getting colder. Someone said uh, 800 million years, uh, 8 million years, I don't know if uh, someone else. Oh, oh, you, is this, pers this person is implying that this is like the whale that started it all, you know? He's the OG whale. whale. Or he's our right. god. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, none of you are correct. The answer is 105 years. She was born in 1911 and died in 2016. Yes, 105. That is, that's a long time for a while. Okay, okay, no, not the smack. Not the snack in Orca, no, I'm not good at this one. I like the idea of smack in Orca as an alternative to whack a mole. never sm smack an orca I would feed them ah oh I might not get it oh yeah I got it we'll have some moments of um, eating out while we're whale well watching another donation from Larissa. Larissa donated $15, so thank you so much, Larissa. There was no oh comment, but $15 still qualifies for a whale fact. Yes, hi, Larissa. Thanks for donating. Here's your whale fact. Have you ever heard of white orcas? Yeah. These albino orcas have very pale coloring, and it is extremely rare to see them in the wild. There have been sightings of between five and eight white orcas in the Western North Pacific Ocean. Even one of, uh, one of them is even called iceberg. We don't know exactly why they're so pale. Some think it might be a genetic defect that will correct with age. Others attribute it to inbreeding. In any case, a pale orca is definitely a sight to behold. Oh yeah, we stand iceberg. Oh yeah, I I've always wondered why they never her attractive never produced those um. Uh, those keychains, orca keychains, um, uh, that banner from uh, from Katie's boat. Like I would want that as a keychain. All right, we did it. And for letting me use your camera. My pleasure. Um. Oh. I finished putting that display together. So you did. Caddy never looked better. Here's your permit, and here's your clam tube. Look for little holes in the sand. Sometimes water will squirt out of them. Anyway, center the tube over the hole. Honey step for the merch game. And pull. By a lot. Quick enough, but By a lot. Out of the tube. If not, try, try again. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you a present? She gave me the design I used to create the keychains I give away to everyone who goes on a whale world whale walk. She was quite the graphic artist. Since I took Cuz I I'm pretty a lot of stuff. Actually, I um them to if they produced it, a ton of people would even if I really would buy it. Really want one. Pretty sure of it. Okay, okay. Thanks for your time. Drop by again. Love begging for a keychain. Me. Oh yeah, 
Andy, come on now. <laughs> That's just being cheap. I didn't have time to put makeup on, so yeah, I'm just... Today is a lazy day. Um... Oh my gosh. Of course. Of course! It's one of those days. Where are... <laughs> uh, finally! Oh my gosh. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Six. Thirteen. Fourteen. So if you don't want to go clamming, um, this is a trick. <laughs> Glitch. Yeah, um, I learned it like while researching for for the speed running. I didn't know it existed until recently. Hi, Nancy. Oh, good, you got the clams. Let me take those from you. I'll take that clam tube off your hands too. You never guess what happened. While I was home getting that necklace for you, someone. Okay, we have incredible news. Sarah Kosk just donated $11 saying, I hope this works. It did work. You brought it us up to $1,000 and 69 cents. So thank you so much, Sarah. You are incredible. Okay, I'll cal calm down, Billy. <laughs> thank you so, so much, Sarah. That's amazing. And here's a well-deserved whale fact. Megaloo is the first world's first documented all-white humpback whale, a popular sight off Australia's east coast. Aboriginal elders gave him the name which means white fella in their language. Megaloo is granted special protection while in Australian waters. Oh yeah, the um, um Nile albino or um not orca, uh albino humpback whale. That's special. Uh Oh. Okay, and we've got one more from Fisher who donated another five dollars and says, What that clam glitch? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Fisher. I'm glad that we blew your mind with that clam glitch. Here's a whale fact. A photographer once saw a group of orcas playing with an unfortunate group of sea turtles. They were launching them out of the water and spinning them on their noses like they were beach balls instead of eating them. Most of them were left unharmed as the orcas got bored and moved on, but the emotional scars remained, no doubt about it. Oh yeah, um, they, they've been known to, instead of eating the, eating, uh, the, the, the food, you know, they would instead play with it, which is kind of fucked up. <laughs> um, what the... Um, did I? Well, yeah. Uh, it was here. I don't have a really good, great memory, so bear with me. Oh, wrong one. Okay, third one. Uh... We had salted pepper. Uh, I don't remember if we had... Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh. We had ice cream. Sure. Oh, grapes. All right. Said, oh, 
Yeah. Okay, I need to. It's beautiful. <laughs> Ella, what kind of word is <laughs> Okay, uh, now we have to go here. Um. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One, two. Oh my. Okay, now we go back to the boat. Oh yeah. Um the whale facts are like a uh, Oh. To What's up? I found this piece People of really been loving our whale facts. Yeah, just uh, for a reminder, if you donate like um, five plus, you get a cool whale fax. We've been giving, we, we've been like reading whale fax like for <laughs> a bunch of them. They're very really popular. You have a flashlight? Would you like a sandwich? That would be awesome. Here's a sandwich for you. Great. Here you go. Take mm. this uh, ketchup oh, sandwich. <laughs> fabulous. Thank you. Okay, you wanted my headlamp. Where's my headlamp? Oh my gosh. It was right here in the engine. It's not a flashlight. It's a. It's called a torch. <laughs> okay. Um. Probably not doing great on time, but you know. We're here to have a good time. Oh yeah, the uh, at one point I I didn't know that the mayo was ex I didn't know the mayo was like fired. So I I was like, it's a mayo sandwich, <laughs> like. Um, our personal wow. best we actually got yesterday, which was one hour and one minute. Oh yeah, it went so well. But like today, um, I don't know why, it's just... just nervous. <laughs> Oops. But imp the important is not to have the best times. The important is to have fun and raise money. All the proceeds are is going to the Tino Balducci Foundation. <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. Um uh okay, uh, after that I need to go to the to the lighthouse. That's a long, that's a long tunnel. <laughs> you fall for your donations, that means a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Nancy is at her top, the top of her shape. Um, I have to go to the lighthouse. Oh. She did more um, working out than I did in my entire life. 
<laughs> oh yeah. I can't even lift a, an arm without like when I'm being like it hurts. It's so much work. <laughs> By, uh, the, by the end of by the end of this game she's like built like a, a bodybuilder but just uh four two three right uh five two three um five two three five five five. Five, five, four, three, nine, nine. Yep. Yeah. Nine. I remember this time. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> nine. There you go. Oh, yeah. I'll make you love this game. I'll make you. Like, I know some people didn't, doesn't like Decentral Island, and I'm like... You, you and I cannot be friends. You are done. <laughs> Tino, although Tino is uh, much harder to make people love, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, we have another donation from Nicole. Nicole donated $20. I don't have a comment, but thank you so much, Nicole, for the $20. Thanks so much, Nicole. Here's your whale fact. There is a thing called a false killer whale. Why do we call them that? Well, imagine creatures that have the similar shape and coloring to orcas, but they're actually dolphins. The false killer whale is a social animal you can often spot them in groups of 40 or 50 just performing flips and spins high out of the water. Okay, so orcas are, they are technically dolphins as well. Um, but okay, so I encourage you to Google false killer whales. They are scary looking. Um, they, they are they are all gray and they like have like this these teeth and these eyes that was just like so frightening i don't know um forget about sharks like false killer whales <laughs> where where are these horror movies <laughs> um uh, hopefully this works Uh, okay, so this is going well. This is going well. Fully. Oh no, this is way too... Yeah, there we go. Wow, 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 guys. We have another donation from Fisher. Oh Fisher God. donated $5 and said, that was technically a false whale fact. Gonna need another one, please. <laughs> I'm so sorry for All scamming right. you. Um, here's a whale fact for you. Um, from the Arabian Sea to the Gulf of Mexico, from the coastal waters of Japan to the Atlantic Ocean, and from the Arctic waters to Antarctica, orcas can be found in every ocean in the world. Their extremely wide range and unpredictable movements make it difficult to know the exact world population. But it's thought to be more than 50,000 individuals. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Fisher really wants all those whale facts, but I give them to you like for free all the time. <laughs>
Oh, well, then what can I do for you? She said you might be able to help me identify the ship that this piece of plywood I found on the beach came from. How do you know it came from a ship? Because it says SS on it. The rest of the name is missing. Doesn't mean anything. Now if it's oh, hi, Brooke. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I missed a lot of chat, what chat says, so sorry if I missed them all, like, because <laughs> I'm so focused. Yay, Brooke. Um, just so you know, since you just came in, um, we give away uh, whale facts for each 5 plus donations. How 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 much money did we do we have now? Uh, I can't see. Um, one thousand thirty dollars looks like. Wow! Wow! Hi, my name is Nancy Drew, and I like some time on this piece of wood I found. Yes, and this money is not going to her interactive. I don't have time to send it to you. Would it be possible? Damn! Why did you have to be so savage like this? <laughs> I'm very sorry, I forgot the 69 cents. I usually don't do this over the phone. But oh my gosh. That was a very important fact. How dare you omit the 69 cents? You near the sample in case you need to refer back to it. Yep, I'm right by it. All right, we'll get to it. Where did you find this wood? It's a piece of driftwood, probably used for a crate. Is the wood sample black, brown, brownish? Brownish. Brown, brown, or brown, reddish? Brown reddish. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? Many. And I'll not say about this, but I won't. I decide today I will be nice. All the same size. Most of the time. <laughs> the holes are really, really tiny, right? No, they're pretty sizable. Then you've got a tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was a North American wood. All right. Are there any oh, yeah. horizontal lines on the sample? Yes, there are horizontal lines. I'm sure there are like there's like um a word for brown reddish was is it burgundy? <laughs> no, not burgundy. Um. Thanks for your help. Glad to have been of service. Uh. Maroon. Oh yes. Maroon. Auburn. That's also good. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before about the driftwood. I like Nancy as um. Yes, that's me, Nancy Drew. As a Firestone friend. redhead rather than a blonde girl. Well, if that driftwood did come from a cargo container, that's part maybe, of the maybe maybe auburn hair. Maybe in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? Ever since the hobo spider got into the US by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe, the feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real <laughs> careful records. Of course, I'll be taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to snake horse harbor. Okay, um, two days ago, I didn't sleep at all. At night, like, I, I had to work, like, f then yesterday I had to work from, like, um, 9 to 9 to 6. Uh, but I didn't sleep the, the, the night before. Like, each time I would, like, fall about to fall asleep uh i was uh, I, I would keep waking up <laughs> it was rough uh okay uh, new coordinates uh it's uh 48 42 I'm re well rested now. Like I, I slept for like fifty. I think I slept for fifteen hours in a row. Oh, Dr. Pr Pridovicio? 
Henry's mom? Hmm. Is that, is that what you're saying? Yeah, here, I can explain it. So the photo in the book of Dr. Protovicu is the same oh. picture they use in Legend of the Crystal Skull. That's the portrait of uh, Henry's mom. Oh my so gosh. It's, yeah. How did I not miss that? Oh my gosh. You know what? I accept this as canon. <laughs> Um, yes. Uh, Kathy? She, she's a, she's an expert on wood. All right. Wink, wink. <laughs> da, 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 da. Um. Okay, I, I need to remember to call KC when I come back from else. Um, KC is the, uh, KC is a speedrun killer is what he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, this way. By the way, I'm I'm thinking of like um, so uh, uh, like becoming a Twitch streamer, streaming more often. I'll I'll be streaming Nancy Drew and Animal Crossing. Like, I have a capture card and everything, and I have a new Switch. So I'll be streaming more often. I'm thinking, like, if I do become an affiliate, um, uh, one of the channel points rewards would be me uh, doing a, a tarot reading. You can redeem a tarot readings. <laughs> but, like, that's a far in the future. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I have to call Casey. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call. Uh, Nancy Drew. Casey, that's Hi, Brooke. Me. I'm Nancy Drew. This is Brooklyn. Okay, we have one final donation from Fisher, who says, Change the world, my final donation. Goodbye. Whale fact, please. And Fisher donated $15, so thank you so much. Thank you very much, thank Fisher. You. Here is your last whale fact. There's no doubt that orcas are skilled hunters. They've been known to beach themselves, slide out of the water onto the shore, to scare sea lions into the water where other killer whales are waiting to feed. Another technique is to deliberately cause a large wave and ice flows to throw their prey in the water where they're easier to catch. They teach these techniques to their young in the process. Oh yeah, yeah. For for the facts I um I've really focused on gathering orca facts. But also like Orcas from from around Vancouver Island, uh, the Salish Seas, and everything since uh, um, since uh, this is where it's uh, it's happening around Vancouver Island. Oh, okay. I thought you were going. <laughs> Yeah, save your money. It's okay. Yeah. What? I said I just got done emailing you something. Great. Thanks. Well, goodbye. what's the email about though? I certainly hope he doesn't operate heavy machinery. Is this an email about your MLM? Is that it? 
KC. <laughs> uh, 48, 42, 52, 1, 2, 3, 8, 7, 9, 9. Alright. Oh, no, not this way. <laughs> All right, we have another donation from Alicia. Alicia donated $10, so thank you so much, Alicia. Hi, Alicia, thanks for the donation. Here's your whale fact. Culture, the idea of passing knowledge and language within a group from generation to generation is actually done within orca pods. Scientists have proven that each pod has its own unique dialect and that learned behaviors are passed from one pod generation to another a unique feature that is currently known to exist only within humans. Thank you for your donations. Oh yeah. Of course. 420. Good, good. Oh, we're so close to the end. Why do you want everyone to think you're crazy when you're obviously Dude, can you see my time now? Uh, how much time did you did I do? So far. Um, your current time, we're at 51. Okay, yeah. I don't I don't think I'll I'll be able to beat my one hour and one minute, but it's okay. <laughs> It's like, I, unless I manage to do all of this in like 10 minutes, um, all the ending and stuff. Well, I've enjoyed knowing you. And I, you. Thank you, Ken. Goodbye, Hilda. Okay, we got another donation from Shirley Ann, who already donated $100 earlier. And they donated $24 and says, well, now I had to. I hope this works. <laughs> I think that was in reference to somebody saying only 24 more dollars until we hit 69. But the oh numbers got gosh. a little me mixed up. So we're at 1,079 now. And Shirley Ann in chat oh. says, oh, no, I don't know math. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we're just, thank you for your donations. Thank you very much, Shirley Ann. Yeah, thank Here's you. a little fact for you. Um, little is known about how orcas sleep. However, we know that dolphins and other creatures sleep by shutting down one half of the brain while the other stays awake. Unlike humans, orcas need to remember to breathe even when they are sleeping. So one half of the brain rests while the other half stays alert to control their breathing, consequently keeping one eye open. So that so orcas sleep with one eye open. That's a, that's a cool fact. Uh, if we do, if we do like um, run out of whale facts, um, I was thinking like, instead of whale facts, I'll say, do some whale noises, but I, that is if we get there. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm not good with sound effects. <laughs> yeah, don't make me do well not noises. <laughs> okay, now I have to go to the boat. Hmm. 
Billy, are you good at math? Um, I can do, um, maybe two plus two? I don't know. It's five. Sarah <laughs> feel free to, by the way in the chat feel free to draw whale facts I love reading them um, I love reading whale facts too so feel free to drop them if you want to oh she's so beautiful I wonder if she'll want to go on a date with me hey where is she going Aww. the thing about um, this the speed running is that the su the sad fact is we cannot stop for a, a muffin or clam chowder, and we cannot play with the the orca because because we're we're in a hurry. All right, we're almost at the end. We just need to go talk to two more people and then we'll be at the end. <laughs> Thanks, Risa. Oh, thanks, Ter. Sorry, I forgot how to say your name. In fact, take thank you, everybody. <laughs> I'm really, uh, I'm really excited. Okay. Um, if I manage to not die, because uh, yesterday when I practiced, I I had a, like one. I did one fuck up and. Uh, uh, I got like a second chance. If I can manage to do all this run without second chances, also it's a win. <laughs> you again? I need a favor. I need you to take me out on your boat. Right now? What for? Uh, for it's sex, of course. Maybe Firestone may or may not be involved. It's a PG stream. <laughs> oh, ah, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll keep it PG. <laughs> I'm going to the I'm going to the horny jail. Sorry. <laughs> Eight. I need to get like a sensor beep. Just have it ready for when someone cusses, and just have it just go beep. <laughs> It turns out that been feeding the orca. Yeah, um, you could, you could take me for another boat like, oh, like right the, the, the streams are like recorded, right? Kayak? Are you nuts? Could like add them in, the in, um, in, um, in editing. Oh, yeah, just in add post, it in yeah. post. No, I'm not gonna export and re-upload these streams. They're just gonna be, um, uh, highlighted on the Twitch uh -oh. channel so people can see them forever. Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's cool. I feel like I haven't said anything incriminating or embarrassing that will live on forever. <laughs> Having a whale of a time, oh my gosh. <laughs>
gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. I haven't watched the Emma Roberts movie for in so long. Um thinking maybe you'll be watching it. I don't know um which Nancy Drew movie or TV show I like best. I watched the um, I watched the one with um, the the girl from uh, Life is Strange. Uh, no, not Life is Strange. It's Stranger Things. <laughs> Nancy, I was afraid no one would ever find me. It was kind of boring. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the times I'm wondering if it's if they are shipping themselves or Nancy, and what does that mean <laughs> with older Shh. men? <laughs> Listen, someone's coming. Hide, hide. Oh, um. Well, Katie, you'll be happy to know that your friend Nancy will be joining us any minute. Oh yeah, the 70s hey, TV. How'd you get that I don't think off? I've watched well, all. Well, it appears she's already I've here. I've watched it though. All right, where are you? Nancy. It's definitely on my list of things to watch. Somebody stop her. Maybe not. Since it's a uh... but everybody's live streaming this weekend, so well, maybe not this weekend. Well, what do we have here? <laughs> Nice try, but I can smell a bluff a mile away. You're about to become the victim of an unfortunate kayaking accident. Or maybe I'll tell my customers that the snake horse got you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I knew he was a villain when I saw his haircut. Nobody in their right minds will have this haircut. <laughs> what did you do that for? That's an opinion, all right. Say goodnight, Nancy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nuts. Oh, um... Oh, Way to go, buddy! Uh, as, as soon as, um... As the, the, the old man, like, is done talking, uh, that's when the, the timer... Timer goes, uh, goes out. Hey, I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, here. There we go. An hour and two minutes and 54 seconds. Oh my gosh! Only wow. one minute more than And right at the last minute. One last whale flag, please. $5 from Carol. But first, I need to congratulate you. That was an incredible run.